it doing? It's up there, isn't it? <coughs> Hello and welcome back. We're out again on another belting mooch. We're doing a bit of a stealth camp. Out with our Paul and Michelle. And we're heading to a uh, disused railway viaduct. Back with you when we get to it. Right, so we're actually on the embankment now, leading up to this gated section that takes us onto the uh, the old issued viaduct. So this is it. We are actually on the viaduct now. We're going to go to the far end. Then we're away from any houses. Right, we're nearly halfway across. I'll just show you roughly where we are. Pretty high up over the valley. Right, we have just got here, we're on the far end of the viaduct, we've just got one house over there, be a little bit cautious of, we have camped this one before, and then after dark we get a little tiny fire in just there, and we're going to chuck hammock and tarps up in these trees, got a little bit of rain forecast after so we'll have to put tarp up as well. So I've got the tarp set up. Just gonna get the hammock under there now. Keep getting little spots of rain, so I've got the uh, the tarp up first. Let's retention that. Okay, that'll keep us nice and dry. Paul and Michelle's got their hammocks up there. I'm just about to set the tarp up. Okay, that's our Paul all set up as well now. They'll both keep dry under there if it rains. I think it's forecast during it night. So food wise tonight, I've got some pork loin steak, some eggs, licorice all sorts of munch on, I'm trying these, sauteed potatoes with smoked bacon and onions, just like the frying, in the frying pan, I reckon they'll be lovely with them pork loin steaks, and I've just got eight cans of uh, Stella copies, from Aldi, a little. Right, so a little folding chair set up. I've got a brew ready. It's going to have five minutes now, chill out to have this brew. Oh, fish finger butt is after as well. Fourteen eggs between them. How many fish fingers? Ten. Yeah, I've got ten fish fingers. Fourteen eggs. I've I only had two uh, pork steaks, and then them potato things. Don't know if I brought any plates actually this time. Yeah. Apart from the ones in my camping set. Well, it's raining now, and it's forecast for the next four hours at least. So it looks like we'll be cooking under the tarp. <clears throat> Not too sure what the chances are getting a fire in, but 
we have collected some wood and stored it under the tarp anyway. I'm still better than being at house. Still not coming down that heavy really. Right here you're getting the old spot on you. Yeah. As you can see, we're pretty high up here. I think it's about 80 foot. High up over the River Douglas here. Just over there you can see the tops of another bridge smaller bridge that used to run along here. This was last in use in 1972 from what I've read. It was part of the Welly Loop. It's killed five minutes. What? I said that's killed five minutes. Oh, and back under the top. It's, it's raining, but not heavy. This is turning into a bit of a bad camp. It's been raining now for about an hour and a half. I think it's forecast for the next three or four hours. There's only one thing for it. Well, we're trying to get a bit of a fire going, but it's chucking it down outside. So we're starting with these disposable barbecues, but we've had these quite a while, so they're not really getting in. They've been stored dry, but I'm guessing the piece of paper that usually lights the paraffin that's on it is evaporated. As you can hear, there's not half coming down now. We've got this constant need. <laughs> Get the water off the tap. We were hoping to get a little bit of a fire in and barbecue, but it ain't looking likely tonight. Well, rain's still coming down. 
What else can you do on an art like tonight but eat and drink? Yeah, like so it's fish finger butties and brain sauce. <laughs> And next we're going to have some pork steaks and some potatoes and bacon and onion. That's going to be beautiful. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> it might be a bad night. We're going to make the best of it. Next up, pork loin steaks. And then we've got these. Right. So, plan of attack is cook these uh, pork loin steaks there in that frying pan and then put the sauteed potatoes in there, cook them and then add those Get back to the potatoes for to keep the pork loin steaks warm. I just hope that bag of mess uh, <laughs> tastes as good as what it says on the packet. Alright, we're still on the food cooking. The camping meals and the camping meals. This is a proper camping meal. Got some nice pork steaks there and these potatoes, sauteed potatoes with smoky bacon and onion. Yeah. Right, it's been a pot night for weather, but this, this is going to make up for that. This is going to be the tastiest camping meal I've ever had in my life. This is officially the new camping food. Right, we've filled our faces, so this is slack, kind of slightly a stealth camp. We want to get away early tomorrow, so we're going to have an early night and get in the hammocks and tarps. Absolutely no chance whatsoever of getting a fire tonight. We're going to be throwing it down all night. So, Unfortunately, it's a bit of a short and bad video. We've enjoyed it though. And we'll pick it up tomorrow. Hopefully in the morning, it might be a bit dry and we we'll sit out, have a nice coffee, have a cup of tea, enjoy the view before we set off. I've got a sleeping bag underneath, mate, it's no good. Wrapped up in that, too. Uh... <laughs> 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 Whee! Down a bit, mate. Help, Mark. That's right, you. Right, time for me to get in the hammock as well. So we'll see you all tomorrow. Hopefully it's going to be dry up and we'll give you a little bit of a better view of where we've been camping tonight. And good morning. It never actually stopped raining last night at all. Partially started packing up, just having a brew, and then we're heading off. Yeah, that's us packed up. 
It was tidied away. Even though it's a disused railway line, when nobody comes down here, we still tidy everything away. Well, that weren't the greatest camp because of the weather, but we did manage to stay dry. We managed to uh, have some good food, good drink, and good sleep. We'll be out again soon. So that's it for this video. We're off now, and we'll see you next time for another Belting Mooch. Thank you.